Hey everyone, in this tutorial I will just be going over setting up your shader for an asset with multiple UVs. Now some of you probably already know that I've already done a tutorial on this. In that particular tutorial I showed you a method called daisy chaining uh, and for those that did see it you probably noticed that it's very time consuming especially if you have an asset with a lot of UVs and it can get really really messy very quickly. Uh, now, in later versions of Maya, they've actually fixed this problem using, uh, they've uh, actually built in a tool into the file nodes called uh, UV tiling. Uh, so this has solved that um, problem, making things a lot simpler and a hell of a lot cleaner as well. Um, and I love a clean scene. So I'm just going to go over that very quickly, how to use it. I will not be going over how to set up um, multiple UVs. I've already gone through that with my previous tutorial. If you haven't really done that before, I really recommend watching that tutorial just so then you've got a basic understanding. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so we have our scene. Uh, we come down to file. Here's our file node. I am using uh, Maya 2017. Um, I think you can do this in 2016. I'm not too sure though. Um, but anyway, so you've selected your uh, file node under image name. Select your file. Uh, okay, so here you can see I've got um, multiple textures. So I just select that. Okay, right now it's just reading the single uh, texture. So I come down to here, the UV tiling mode. It's uh, currently set to off. Now there's four different uh, modes, as you can see. Uh, you've got ZBrush, Mybox, Mari, and Explicit Tiles. Now uh, with uh, ZBrush, Mybox, and Mari, uh, as many of you will probably know, these are um, uh, other programs that you can use to actually texture your asset. Um, now, when you actually export from uh, these uh, separate programs, you'll notice these uh, different namings at the end. Uh, with this particular one, this is actually out of uh, Mari. It's my preferred uh, texturing software. Um, however, the, the names are a little bit different. So, um, with the ZBrush, when you export, you'll actually notice that um, it'll have a U and the V. These are the coordinates. Um, now, this is probably the most important thing uh, w when you're um, using the, the tiling mode. You have to get the coordinates right. The names have to be the same with the uh, correct coordinates. So, um, because I um, used um, Mari, I just want to set my tiling mode to Mari. Here we go. And straight up, it comes up with this um, convention. And it's already reading that there are 11 textures. Very simple. Uh, that's all you need to do. Um, with explicit tiles, this is the only one that's different. With this particular one, you're kind of doing it manually. Uh, now, you can get away with having um, different uh, names, but make sure that you're using the same uh, file type. I generally prefer to use uh, TIFFs. Um, you can use PNG. I really, I wouldn't recommend using JPEGs. They just don't hold that much information. Um, or you could use EXRs. Um, now, because we're looking at using multiple UVs, you just want to add an extra tile making sure that you're changing the U, the V, to whatever, selecting the right one, and yeah, boom. Okay, so it's dead simple. Um, now, if you are not um, using uh, either Mari, Mudbox, or whatever, you can still use these modes, that's perfectly fine. You just need to get the naming right. So if you're um, doing everything in a Photoshop, uh, you can use the, um, probably the, the ZBrush um, one makes more sense, or you might actually find that the Mudbox one makes more sense. Uh, 
um, but you just have to remember uh, when you're saving out the texture to have the U and V coordinates at the end. Um, so just like that. Um, it'll keep things a lot simpler. You'll um, have a better idea of uh, where your textures will be. Um, and also it allows the um, tiling mode to actually work correctly. Um, if it doesn't, if your names aren't um, correct, um, if the coordinates are wrong, it'll be directing um, the program to actually look in the wrong place. So yeah, that's really all you need to do. You don't need to plug anything into anything. Um, you just need to make sure that um, your names are correct um, and you choose the right tiling mode because um, as you saw with these conventions, if you choose the um, ZBrush, it starts at U0V0, whereas my box starts with uh, U1V1. Mari is a very strange one. Um, if you are exporting out of these, you don't really need to worry about this too much as when you export out um, of the program, it does it automatically for you. But if you're using um, programs like Photoshop that only really do um, one at a time, uh, you really do need to make sure that you've got the coordinates um, correct. Um, but if you're using the, um, the explicit tiles, that's not necessary. You just need to make sure that you put the um, coordinates in here um, correctly. Um, that's really the only thing that you have to remember. Um, now, that's it. If Again, if you've never actually worked with multiple UVs before, um, I really recommend my first tutorial. Um, it really goes much more into depth. This is just uh, very simply showing you how to use the UV tiling mode. Um, I hope this was useful and enjoy.